Hello, I am Shami Lumar, Technical Marketing Engineer from Cisco Enterprise Routing Business Unit. Today, I am going to introduce you to the best-in-class Enterprise Modular WAN Access Platform, the Cisco Catalyst 8300 and 8200 Series Edge Platform. The Enterprise Network WAN Infrastructure Requirements are subject to the new shifts to meet our customers' WAN infrastructure needs in the current and the future world. Cisco is continuing its research, forecasting our customer needs for the next two decades and making our infrastructure adoption ready for new and emerging technologies with the innovation of a full-fledged WAN portfolio with the Catalyst 8000 series edge platforms. This slide talks about the product transition from the older generation of ISR and ASR WAN portfolio to the new generation Catalyst 8000 Edge platform family from branch to the aggregation and to the cloud. Today we will talk about the branch WAN access platforms highlighted in the gray, the ISR 4Ks transitioning to Catalyst 8300 and 8200 series Edge platforms. All the Catalyst 8000 series platform family are iOS XE code based. We call it as iOS XE single image or unified image for easy operation and management. What that mean is customers do not have to have two separate images to support traditional or an SD-WAN individually on the router's boot flash. You can now switch between iOS XE mode and SD-WAN operation mode seamlessly within this single unified image using a single command controller mode enable or controller mode disable which makes your acceleration to the SD-WAN journey much easier and simpler with respect to deployments. A closer look into the branch platform transitions. Yesterday's top performing branch platforms ISR 4K is shifting to Catalyst 8300 and 8200 series platforms. Yes, the Catalyst 8300 and 8200 series are modular platforms in parity with ISR 4Ks, delivering all the multi-cloud offering to meet the WAN edge needs for secure SASE deployments. As you can see here, the Catalyst 8300 and 8200 series platform offer multi-performance than the old generation of ISR. These platforms are an evolution of ISR 4451 and 4431 models. So let's dive in and check out the different models what we have with the Catalyst 8300 series. The 8300 series comes in four flavors in one rack unit and two rack unit form factors with 10 gig and one gig port offerings. The 42X models offer 10 gig port on the front panel with six WAN ports in total, four copper ports and two SFP plus ports. The 60 models offer a one gig port on the front panel with six WAN ports in total four copper ports and two SFP ports. These platforms come with built-in external storage in the M.2 NVMe form factor for higher storage requirements for container-based application like UTV, 1000Is, AppQoe, SSL proxy and such. These platforms also support the next generation Ethernet WAN modules and Doppler-based S6 switch modules with higher port density and port speeds with MaxX support. These platforms also support the next generation PVDM BSP voice modules as well. The RFID and QR labels are new user-centric innovations built into these platforms for smart device tracking and inventory management. They also have efficient power supplies with AC and DC support. Let's take a closer look at the 8300 2 rack unit chassis. 
it has status LEDs, management console and USB ports for additional storage, 6 WAN ports for port density, 2 name 2 SM slots for modularity, comes with built-in pluggable slot for cellular WAN access with 4G and 5G support, built-in slot for M.2 external storage, RFID and QR label for advanced inventory management. The 60 and 42X models are of same design except for the 10 gig support on the WAN ports. This is the rear side of the chassis. There are two internal highly efficient power supplies and also a field replaceable fan tray with four internal fans for chassis cooling. Here is a closer look at the 8300 one rack unit chassis. If you do have status LEDs, management console ports and USB for additional storage, six WAN ports on the panel for port density, one name and one SM slot for modularity, built-in slot for M.2 external storage, RFID and QR label tray for advanced inventory management. The 60 and 42X models are of same design except that the 10 gig support on the van. This is the rear side of the 1RU chassis, two highly efficient power supplies, built-in pluggable slot for cellular van access which is on the rear side, the fixed fan tray with three internal fans for chassis cooling. Now let's talk about the Catalyst 8200 series platform. The Catalyst 8200 platforms are the evolution of ISR 4331, 4321 and 4221 models. They are compatible one rack unit platform with less than 12 inches in depth for anywhere installation flexibility. Both the 8200 and 8200L platforms offer a 1 gig port on its front panel with 4 WAN ports in total, 2 copper and 2 SFP ports. These platforms come with built-in external storage in the M.2 NVMe form factor for higher storage requirement for container-based applications. These platforms also support next generation Ethernet WAN modules with higher port density and port speeds with MagSec support and also supports the next generation PVDM DSP voice modules. Important to note that there is no service module slot in this 8300 series platform. RFID and QR label tray are new introductions built into these platforms for smart device tracking and inventory management. Closer look to the 8200 chassis layout. We do have status LEDs, management console ports and USB for additional storage, four WAN ports for port density, one name and one pluggable slot for modularity, built-in slot for M.2 external storage. We do have RFID and QR label for advanced inventory management. In the rear side, we have single fixed internal AC power supply, as well as a four pin DC connector for PoE only. This is not a secondary power supply. It also comes with two internal fans without a fan tray and is not field replaceable. So what is new on the Catalyst 8000 branch edge platforms? There are a few noticeable enhancements which I will mention here on a high level. I will give detailed explanation for each of these new enhancements in my coming video. So please stay tuned for my next videos. So these are the new enhancements we will talk about in detail in my upcoming videos. First, we'll talk about the dynamic core allocation, building flexibility to assign CPU cores based on business needs, 5G cellular WAN, 
for high speed WAN access for cloud connectivity for SASE. RFID and QR label for smart device tracking and inventory management. And finally, next generation modules for high speed WAN and LAN with advanced voice capabilities. Thank you for watching my video. Please provide your valuable feedback for better next time.